Hi guys, I'm Officer Leonard with Queen Anne's County Animal Control, and today I'm here with my daughter Mia and my bulldog Gabby, and we're going to show you guys the right and wrong way to approach a dog to help keep you safe and, and make sure that you don't accidentally get bit by the dog or anything like that. So first we're going to show you with Mia, she's going to show you how to approach a dog the wrong way. And we're using a fake dog for this, um, that way even our own dog Gabby, we don't want to, we don't want to make her uncomfortable. So first, we want to make sure that we don't yell at a dog when we approach it. When we pet the dog, we don't pet him on top of the head. We also want to make sure that we don't lean over top of the dog. And we just want to make sure that we don't scare the doggies by accident when we're really trying to give them some love. So now we have Gabby, and we're going to show you guys the right way to approach a doggy. You want to make sure that you always ask the owner for permission before you walk up and pet the doggy. Can I pet your doggy? Sure you can. She's really friendly. If the owner tells you that you can pet their dog, make sure that you walk up slowly and that you stand next to their side. Make sure that you keep your hands down to your sides and let the dog sniff you before you start petting it. Now we're going to show you guys what to do if you're outside on a beautiful day and you're playing and all of a sudden a stray dog walks up. Make sure you don't try and run away from the dog when you see it because dogs have four legs and you only have two and it, it can run faster than you can. You want to make sure that you stand with your arms crossed. Face away from the dog and keep your eyes towards the ground and don't turn your back on the dog. And make sure you don't scream or yell because a lot of times what will happen is the dog will get bored pretty quick if you're not doing anything with it and it'll, it'll just walk away. Once it's safe, you get a hold of a parent or a grown up and you have them call for help and then that way they can get animal control to come out and we can help get the dog back to its family. Now we're going to talk a little bit about what to do if you do get scratched or bit by a dog. Make sure that you tell a parent or an adult what happened. So you want to make sure that you have your parents give us a call. That way we can go out and check to make sure that the dog is healthy and that you guys stay healthy. So right now, if you're within six feet of other people, you're supposed to have a mask on. Be extra careful when you're approaching dogs and you're wearing your mask. Dogs try and read the expression on your face. So they may be frightened when they see you with a mask on and they can't see your whole face. This could even happen with your own dog at home that's not used to seeing you in a mask. So I want to thank Mia and Gabby for helping me out today. And I hope this video helps keep all of you guys safe. Thanks for watching.